Look at him, oh my gosh. That is so pretty. I might have to go show that to my wife. No, 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 no. Hey what's up guys welcome to the channel my name is Miro and today we got super exciting video as you guys already saw we're gonna be pairing up my RSU species Valkinari. I have some really terrifying shots where she's going for the male you guys will see what's gonna happen is he gonna make it is he not I'm not really sure we will see in the end but first let me give you just a couple of quick updates first of all my Caribbean aversical or eggs are looking almost like spiders they turning purple they moving around a lot I'm hoping that they're gonna molt anytime soon and if you guys saw my list of top huntsmen for beginners I had Holconia species as number one and that's because of the simplicity of their care and of like how pretty they are my favorite <laughs> and I was able to get five of them and what's awesome about it is they are really rare because they come from Australia and Australia doesn't allow any exports so basically it's just kind of like in a hobby sometimes people breed them and you can find them from time to time I got lucky and I found five not only that I found it from a person that lives in Los Angeles so I could do local pickup save on the shipping if you guys want those two you can actually find her information on my instagram because that's where you're gonna contact her so go on my instagram spider.cafe there's gonna be a hoconia post it's a white huntsman that's chewing on a butterworm there is the person's information and she's still got a bunch and they are awesome and she has a good price too much better than you would probably find in any spider shop before we fully dive into it i just want to tell you what happens with the females after they breeding so not only this breeding is extremely dangerous for the males because my friend and told me that when they dig up some of the females in the nature they found several males in there so the female are very promiscuous and they take care of the males it's also very dangerous for the female because this is basically the last days of her life because babies most likely because of the conditions are really harsh where they are born will eat the mom and they're gonna be there the mom's gonna be their first meal there is a ways to prevent it which I haven't tried it but my friend told me about them you can actually give them like a cut up uh, cockroach and they will feed on that but the female will never have eggs again so I think that's kind of interesting so one egg sack just maybe 50 60 babies and that's it let's get to the breeding side of this video you know what day it is it's Wednesday Wednesday night is the night that we usually make love oh uh, yeah there he is I'm gonna grab one last thing and just kind of steer him more towards her webbing so he can get his feet on it and he can get a sense of what's going on but he's getting a little scared so we don't want to do that there we go this should be close enough so she moved a little bit and sometimes the females actually initiate the session in spiders i know this look how much bigger she is than him oh my gosh she's so much bigger I kind of want to give him his time but I also have like hour for this actually I came back and it took me another two hours after the first hour and nothing was happening in the last two hours I actually didn't include those in the video so I actually turned the audio off on this clip because I was turning up my heater to just kind of create a more cozy atmosphere for these two and there was a lot of beeping basically of me changing the temperature I feel pretty confident at this moment I remember I was just like okay they probably nothing's gonna happen but what I didn't expect is that she's look at her how what a monster she's compared to him and she went after him for the first time so after I got back I had to actually check the footage oh here we go let's see what's going on did she run after him oh my gosh that's so cute For a moment here you guys are gonna hear me kind of doubting myself if uh, she was mature or not because i didn't get a chance to take a ventral shove of her epigyna uh, which is their sexual organ of the female sexual organ because you have to flip the spider and basically take a picture of that i just didn't get around it i hope she's mature guys she certainly acts a little differently than she would uh, when it was a prey he is Brave little guy. There you go, buddy. 
Stay on it. No, 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 no. Hey guys, so uh, the leg grabbing is very typical of velvet spiders because this is how they hunt. If you guys watch some of my older videos, I was actually going about it, kind of doing a little pre breakdown on their hunting strategy. And basically what they do, they usually grab a leg and uh, hold on to it for a little bit. Then they pull the prey closer once it's envenomated. And then they start making like a little bites around the body and the head. It's actually pretty fascinating. No, 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 don't eat him. He keeps trying. Well, I separate if she keeps going for his leg. So at this moment I was kind of like, should I feed her again, even though I fed her like several times the week before and she looked pretty massive. And so I was just like, okay, let's take some pictures because it was like a perfect picture opportunity. I was really happy about that. And yeah, you guys can check me out at spider.cafe on Instagram. I was then I was like, let me feed her. Let's see if this girl will take some food from me. She doesn't seem to be interested in me, oh, that's weird. But she does wanna snag him. You see, she wasn't after flies, she was after his juicy thighs. Yeah, that is bizarre. So it's been over an hour and I am too afraid to leave them together alone. So I'm gonna remove the male. I'm gonna try to feed the female again, even though she looks nice and thick. And we'll try again tomorrow. So let's see if we can nudge him away. So as I said before in the beginning of the video, nothing really happened after like two hours and I decided to just break it down and put him back in his enclosure. There we go. Now you stay on this. There we go, you stay on your home. Home turf. Once he was back in his enclosure, he created this vertical web and he was basically sitting on it for like two days. I wonder if it was something similar to like a sperm web or maybe a sperm web. Not really sure if anybody knows. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was all about the Resus. There was a lot of cool footage. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like my hat, don't forget to check us out at spidercafe.shop. You can find some of our uh, merchandise there. We also have posters from famous movies where we replace the actors with famous spiders. So, made them a little better. <laughs> Alright, that is it from me and I will see you soon. Ciao!